want to talk quickly about text editors for website design and development. Um, when we're writing code, we don't want to use a word processor or an app like Microsoft Word because it actually adds in subtle characters that will affect our code. So I have three really good options for you. Um, one, TextMate. If you're on a Mac, TextMate's a nice free option. You can see the URL right here and go ahead there and download TextMate for free. Um, I'll be showing it here in a minute, but it's a nice free option. Another free option if you're using PCs is Notepad++. Um, you can see the URL right here and you can go ahead and download that. Another good option. And if you want a paid option um, with some nice extra features, Sublime Text is really good. So it's actually $70. Um, you can get it for Mac, PC, or Linux. And you can see the kind of demonstration right here. Um, it has a lot of really nice features. And I'll actually show you. I'm on a Macintosh computer, but I'll show you um, comparison TextMate to Sublime Text. So I have TextMate over here on the left and Sublime Text over here on the right. Um, I've just put some basic HTML code to start a website. Let me put a little bit of text. Um, welcome to my site. Copy that. I'll put this over in Sublime Text too. Um, so if I want to go ahead and add, say, a style to the body tag. So let me here write a little bit of code. Um, let's say body and add some CSS to it. Say I want to add like a background color property um, and I'll just call it black instead of black color. Now you can see that it highlights that CSS code right here but a cool feature if I were to do the same thing in Sublime Text just rewrite this style you can see that you can see this actually giving suggestions for what I'm going to type and this can speed up your development process. Let me show you right here. So um, say background and I can go right here background color black. So it makes it a lot easier in a sense and it speeds up the process because it gives you suggestions and um, you can type in half the word and, and go ahead and put that in there very easily. So um, some blind text is a really good option if you're really going to be serious about website design development. Um, but if not, or if you're just starting to get into it, TextMate and Notepad++ are really great options.